the lot of joy and always the lord wants us to be happy people amidst all that we are facing amidst all that is troubling us putting us down making us cry making us feel alone making us feel depressed amidst all these things the lord wants us to be joyful people and the other day when we were defining joy we said joy is not the absence of sorrow but the presence of christ the presence of christ i am with you i am with you in all that i am going through in my sickness in my loneliness in my depression in my anxiety in my fear in my studies in my work when i am happy when i am sad i am with you very consoling to hear i am with you all the time
still and know that I am your God. Be still and know that I am your God. My dear friends, we are in the presence of our Lord. We are in the presence of our mighty God. We are, pre we are in the presence of our God who is so merciful to us. We are in the presence of a great friend. We thank Jesus, our loving Saviour, our merciful God, for this opportunity to be with Him. For inviting us once again in His presence as we spend this few moments with the Lord, we tell Jesus, Lord, I am here to be with you and with you alone. Help me, Lord, to keep me, to keep myself away from all that distracts me from your presence. Be with me. Talk to me. Console me, heal me, advise me. Lord, let this time be a time with you. We make this prayer in the mighty name of our Lord. Amen. Kindly be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, and my dear children in Christ Jesus we are so happy today we have so many of them and uh, today we finished our camp the faith formation camp that we had in our parish for the last two weeks and we really thank the Lord for this camp the first day when we started this camp the theme of the camp for our children we said let the children come to me and none of us should be a hurdle or an obstacle for that let the children come to me and the parents were so generous in letting the children to Jesus the last two weeks they were with the Lord they got to know more about Jesus more about the saints of Christ, more about the church and very specially more about the Eucharist. And now they are so confident when I ask them, will you tell our people what do you know about the Eucharist, about the Holy Mass? When all of them gathered, are gathered during the Sunday Mass, will you be able to tell them? And they said, yes, we will tell them. And the last two, day, two weeks were so wonderful with Jesus, the lot of joy. And always the Lord wants us to be happy people amidst all that we are facing, amidst all that is troubling us, putting us down, making us cry, making us feel alone, making us feel depressed. Amidst all these things, the Lord wants us to be joyful people. And the other day when we were defining joy, we said joy is not the absence of sorrow but the presence of Christ. The presence of Christ. I am with you. I am with you in all that I am going through. In my sickness, in my loneliness, in my depression, in my anxiety, in my fear, in my studies, in my work. When I am happy, when I am sad, I am with you. Very consoling to hear. I am with you all the time. And today, the Lord has something very beautiful to tell all of us as we have gathered here to spend this time with Jesus alone. That is what we, we wanted to tell Jesus at the beginning of the adoration. Lord, I want to spend this time with you and with you alone. Everything that distracts me from your presence, 
you please be there to help me. And today as we are here before the Lord in His presence, adoring Him, thanking Him, allowing Him to talk to us, and we also pray, Lord, advise me. At times we need His advice. We need to consult the Lord. Lord, I am doing this. Am I right or wrong? Should I go forward or not? And today, as we are seated here, the Lord has something beautiful to tell you. You are my friend. You did not choose me, but I have chosen you. The very fact that we are here, it is not our will, but the will of the one who is present here. You did not choose me, but I have chosen you. To bear fruit, to be happy, to give my presence to the world. And today, the Lord is inviting us to get deeper into this friendship. And the Lord, as I always say, the Lord is not at all happy or willing for a peripheral relationship. I come, I meet Jesus and again next week I come and I meet him. The Lord is not interested in that kind of a relationship. He says, I am the vine and you are the branches. You are the branches. Without that sap, in no time we will die. That is the relationship. I am not able to live without him even for a minute. You cut off a branch from the tree, with that it is gone, it is dead. It is dead and that is the relationship. The depth of the relationship is that. You are away from me, he says, you can do nothing. You can do nothing. And the Lord wants that kind of a deep friendship, deep relationship. Not a peripheral relationship. Not that I come and meet the Lord because the church says I must attend the Mass. Not that it has become a practice that I go for the Mass, therefore I go for the Mass. The Lord is not interested in that. The Lord wants that deep relationship wherein I feel without Him I am nothing. Without Him I am nothing. Wherein I feel what will it profit me if I have gained the whole world and if I have lost Jesus in my life. I have lost everything. And the Lord wants us to feel that He is our everything. And in today's Gospel, He says that I call you friends and not servants. Because I have told you everything that I have known from the Father. I did not hide anything from you. I did not withhold anything. My divinity, my dignity, nothing. The Lord was so generous, he gave up everything, his divinity and his dignity on the cross. Because for the Lord, we are precious. As we listen to the Old, Old Testament, you are precious to me, you are dear to my heart and I will love you forever. Those words of the Father become so alive those words of the Father gets full of life in Jesus that you are precious to me and I will love you forever. To show that we are so precious to Him, He was ready for everything. For incarnation He was ready, for crucifixion He was ready, He was ready for everything. And today we have got to ask ourselves as we are seated here, do I have that kind of a friendship with Jesus? Wherein I feel so comfortable with Him. Wherein I feel so open with Him. Wherein I feel if I am in His presence, that is enough. People have not understood me. Okay. I am sad. Fine. This illness of mine is disturbing me. I am fine. When He is with me, I am okay. I am alright. Do I really have that kind of a deep relationship with Him. That every time I am down, I am sad, I am happy, I feel alone, I feel depressed. In all the time, I search the Lord. In all the time, Jesus has 
a unique place in my life? What is the place that I have given to the Lord? The Lord says, you are my friend. You are my friend. At times we know, like the prodigal son, I am not even worthy to be called your son. Keep me as one of your hired servants. That is what we feel deep within when we look at ourselves and what we have done against the Lord, against our own self, against our brothers and sisters. We say that I am not worthy. But the Lord says, you are not only my son, you are not only my disciple, you are not only my apostle, you are my friend. With you, I am so happy. And that is the generosity of the Lord. That is the generosity of Jesus. As we are seated here, as we spend this time, let us once again look into our relationship, our friendship with Jesus. Maybe a question should be asked, do I really have a friendship with him at all? Have I made Jesus a thing of adoration in my life? I come, adore the Lord and with that my relationship with him is over. Has Jesus, as the blessed sacrament, become a thing of adoration in my life? Yesterday, when our little ones were learning about blessed Carlo Acutis, a little saint of our time, he was beatified just two years before, in 2020. At a very young age, he died and it was he who brought his parents to believe in the Lord once again. It was that little child who gave that friendship of Jesus to their family and to his siblings. And he had that deep friendship with Jesus. And every time he came for the Mass and towards the end, this little one says all these things. He says, Eucharist is my highway to heaven. Eucharist is my highway to heaven and it is not coming from a great doctor of the church. It is not coming from a great scholar of the church. It is not coming from a great theologian. It is not even coming from a child which was growing, growing up in a good Catholic family, a practicing Catholic family. No, that was not so. It is coming from an ordinary child that had that unique friendship with the Eucharistic Lord. He said, Eucharist is my highway to heaven. And that is what Jesus says. Unless you eat my body and drink my blood, you have no life in you. You cannot reach the Father. And he goes on to say, to explain and express his relationship, his friendship with Jesus in, in the Eucharistic Lord. He says, the more and more Eucharist I receive, the more and more I become like Christ. We attend Mass every day. We receive Jesus every day. What a unique friendship we must be having with the Lord. He says, the more and more I attend the Mass and receive the Eucharist, I become more and more like Jesus. That is friendship with the Lord. That is friendship with the Lord. That every time I come and meet Him, I talk to Him, I receive Him, I am becoming more and more like Him. That is the goal of this friendship. That is why Jesus is calling us for this deep relationship. As we spend little time and as we sing this, what a friend we have in Jesus. Let us once again look at our relationship with the Lord. What a friendship we have in, with the Lord. Is it a peripheral friendship? Once in a week I see Him, I adore Him, I go back home, I live as if He doesn't mean anything to me. When I look at my own self, I feel, I conduct myself, I treat myself and others as if Jesus means nothing to me. In today's Gospel, he says, love others as I have loved you. As I have loved you. As we continue to adore the Lord with that beautiful hymn, what a friend we have in Jesus. Let us ask, truly ask ourselves, 
what a friendship that I have with the Lord. Am I happy with my friendship with Jesus? Or is it a disturbing relationship? Or is it a satisfying relationship? Or I don't have a relationship at all? Let this hymn help us to answer these questions as we meditatively sing this hymn and adore the Eucharistic Lord. Very beautifully we have expressed our feelings in this hymn. I am suffering at times because I am not carrying everything to the Lord in prayer. Very often we do not carry everything to the Lord in prayer. As the Lord blesses us now, as the Lord comes in our midst blessing all of us, 
Let us place everything that we have forgotten to place before the Lord and ask Jesus to bless. In a very special way we pray for the sick members of our parish community. We ask the Lord to bless those who have asked us for our prayers. We will ask the Lord to bless our family members who are not here or perhaps they do not want to come. We tell the Lord, Lord bless them. I am praying for them like Abraham prayed before you, like Moses prayed before you. I am praying for my family. Bless them. And definitely the Lord will listen to our prayers. And very specially we ask the Lord to bless all our children. Bless their love for Jesus. So much of enthusiasm for the Lord. More than 45 children have attended the camp and spent their days here with the Lord. We ask the Lord to bless all our children to give them good health of mind and body, to give them a very good spiritual health, that they remain close to the heart of Jesus, that they have a deep friendship with Jesus, that our children understand that the relationship with Jesus never dies. Let anybody come in my life or go, Jesus remains. Whether I gain or lose, Jesus remains. If that relationship is established, then whatever happens in our life, we will be people who can stand. And today, we ask the Lord to bless. To bless all of us, all our children, and all the intentions for which we are praying. Keeping all these th intentions in our heart, let us now sing down in adoration. Almighty Father, praise be Christ, His Son, our Lord. Praise be God, the Holy Spirit, triune God, and be Let us pray. For God, when this wonderful sacrament is left as a memorial of thy passion, grant as we beseech thee, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that we may ever experience within us the fruits of thy redemption, who livest and reignest world without end.
So oh. 